hi guys welcome to my channel if you see me for the first time i am jada <clears throat> i don't know what's up with my voice but anyways you guys welcome to this vlog <clears throat> what's up with my voice you guys i don't know it sounds weird but anyways uh welcome to this video we'll be having a sit down video today it's been a long time you guys i haven't filmed a sit down video in like nine months or so but this video has been long overdue because i wanted to like give an update slash let's say um hottest reality of me living here in angelis city it's actually spelled angelis but it's pronounced angelis so i've been here for like um two years and i would say three or four months thereabouts and you guys i just wanted to like say that it's been like the best time of my life living here in the philippines when i first moved to the philippines i was living in ordinata that's pangasinan it was a small province no pangasinan is a big province but then the city i was living in was a very small city so there's a huge difference between me living here and living back there so first of all i would say that since i started living here my life has been a lot less lonely so let's say that i used to be like extremely lonely when i was in ordinata and it just felt like the people didn't want to integrate a lot don't get me wrong it's probably changed now this is just me sharing my experience so the people did not want to integrate a lot but moving here the people like um tend to integrate more I'm guessing maybe because it's like a bigger city and they have more contacts with like foreigners because actually a lot of foreigners live here expert you know people from Europe America all part of the world I've seen people a lot to be honest and you know here also I've made like good friends when I went back to school I met like amazing people they have to be like the, the perfect and best set of people I've met so far in my stay here in the Philippines I made like really good friends back then and aside from that I also have like a couple of friends there and I feel like those friends are really good because they are there if I need to be very serious they are there if I want to like have a full nightlife which leads me to the point of saying that there's a huge nightlife here in Angeli City I would say that it's the number one nightlife city here in the Philippines I, I'm not sure but I, I guess it is because there's a lot of nightlife here if you want to go out every night you go out every night and you're gonna see people outside so the nightlife here in Angeli City is like top notch so I have friends that if it's time to be serious we're gonna be serious and then if it's time to like party <laughs> okay if it's time to like have fun we'll have fun if we want to have like a crazy night life we'll have a crazy night life i've shown you guys a couple of night life vlogs you know it's actually really fun but it's just that it's not my thing it's not something that i want to do like back to back you know so like i was saying i have friends both for the being serious days and then for the days that it's just like fun and crazy which is like very perfect it made my life like a lot less lonely i was super lonely when i was in originator because i felt like i didn't have friends i didn't have anybody to talk to but then moving here like i'm happier you know and then there are like more activities to do here in ordinator the city is smaller so it's like you don't have a lot of things to do there but then here you have like so many things to do and lots of places to visit so if you want to visit like different places you have that here in angeli city so to be honest i would say that living here is just perfect it's just you know great and i would also talk about like the safety i would say that the safety here is around 85 percent you know because i've heard of situations whereby you know people get robbed their bags get snatched their phone gets snatched you know don't get me wrong it's actually like in every country you go to in every city every place you are in things like that happen but i've heard of situations like that here of recent i heard of someone that i knew all of his accessories were stolen his phone everything at night but regardless we have like a very good security just that sometimes actually some people are bad so you know bad things happen there was one day i was coming back from the gym you guys and then my bag was kind of like to the roadside and then there was this guy in his tricycle calling me you guys and then he was like looking at me we were looking at each other like eyeball to eyeball it was dark but i could see that we were looking at each other and i was like 
why is this guy looking at me there's a lot of space he didn't like pass the road he was coming through my side you guys i'm like okay was this guy trying to snatch my bag and then immediately i saw him doing that then i switched my back to like the other side that was not like to the road and then he looked at me and then he went away so i'm like you guys was this guy trying to snatch my bag i don't have anything in the bag just my phone you guys i was like oh my god so since then i've been very cautious i tend to not go to the gym with my phone but regardless there are days that in fact i've not really had like any scary experience that oh something happened to me like my phone was taken or so you know just that some of these things happen when you least expect it if you come in contact with like the bad people definitely it's gonna happen which makes me say that the security or the safety here is around 85 percent in fact you guys i was watching a video of someone who lives in angeli city and the person's a vlogger maybe some of you might have seen that video if you like you know watch videos in Anjali city like if you get recommendations you guys that guy um, made a video saying that his phone he was robbed you know so these things happen it's just that some days you're lucky some days you're not lucky but overall the safety is okay so i will not talk about the cost of living cost of living here compared to manila is cheaper you guys it is a lot more cheaper but if you compare it to like when i was in ordinator it's like expensive so expensive you guys my first experience was when i moved here i didn't find any tricycle that would take you for 20 peso in ordinata we had like rides for 20 peso the 20 peso ride here was like 50 peso or 60 peso you know i was surprised when i first moved here I was like hmm, what's going on here you know <laughs> i was very shocked but after a while like i got used to like the form of transportation so actually the cheapest we all know that the cheapest in the philippines is cheaper so if you want like cheap ride just go for the jeepney the food is just a little bit expensive compared to like uh, when i was in ordinata and uh, i would say that overall the food is cheap in the philippines you know philippines is actually cheap compared to like my country when it comes to like food if you want to buy food in nigeria it's so expensive when the philippines is quite affordable you know it's like very good they have like some very good regulation of prices so once it goes high it comes down but in nigeria once it goes up it never comes down so yeah that's like it for like the cost of living for apartments we all know that if you want like expensive apartment you go for that if you want like affordable you go for that so it's your choice when it comes to apartments and then i guess that's it for like the cost of living here and then maybe for transportation we don't have like so much traffic uh when it comes to um traffic you know we don't have a lot compared to when i would go to manila and then we'd be stuck in traffic for like a long time we don't experience that here so it's good <laughs> and then my last point would be that we have lots of international restaurants international cuisine you know um shops international shops i feel like there are like shops that if you come from any part of the world you can easily like find some things that you want from your country even if it's not exactly like the same you can find like substitutes that will make you happy and you wouldn't like miss home a lot so for the food you know they have like great food different cuisines recently i saw like a german restaurant that i'm excited to go try it there's just a lot of things that would make you feel comfortable living here in angeli city and then to top it up if you like the nightlife come here move to this city <laughs> anyways you guys this was just like a very short video just me like sharing my experience so far living here in angeli city um yeah i guess we're in this video here we'll see you again in the next video i love you guys see you soon bye